everyone welcome back to Pabli Connect in this video we are going to learn how to use OpenAI as your personal answer machine here my objective is that as soon as I'm going to add a new question in my Google Sheets automatically the answer should be generated for that same question by using OpenAI and then the same generated answer should be added automatically in front of the question in my Google Sheets so how we are going to automate this entire process for this we are going to integrate all these applications and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli connect now here we have Google Sheets in our trigger and then we have open AI and Google Sheets once again in our action so we are going to connect all of them by using Pabli connect in order to automate this entire process and to learn this entire automation step by step let me take you all to my screen in this video we are going to learn how to use open AI as our personal answer machine so I have prepared a spreadsheet over here and now and now as soon as I'm going to add a new question in this spreadsheet automatically an answer will get added in this particular spreadsheet automatically in front of that question so let me show you a live example over here let's say here I'm going to add a question what is refraction and we will see that without any manual efforts within seconds an answer will be added here in place of refraction and yes we can find that here without any manual efforts answer for the question what is refraction is added in front of that question refraction is the bending or change in direction of light as it passes from one medium to another here is the full answer so I have created an automation for this process by setting up a simple connection between my Google Sheets and OpenAI so as whenever I'm going to add a new question here in this particular spreadsheet automatically an answer will be generated by using OpenAI and the same answer will be added in front of that question in this way I'm going to create a record of question and answers in my spreadsheet in the same manner you can use OpenAI for generating answers for your questions and you can very easily automate this entire process with the help of Pabli Connect Pabli Connect is an amazing automation software which allows us to connect multiple applications with each other without any manual efforts and without even any coding skills and this helps us to automate our multiple tasks so we are going to create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by tapping pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser once we will reach here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in option but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now and it has taken us towards the dashboard of pabli connect now here on the dashboard we can find all of our workflows and we can also create folders here to save the workflows as you can find i have two folders here in this test integrations folder i have saved a lot of workflows in the same manner by creating multiple folders you can save your workflows accordingly on your dashboard now to create a new workflow we have to click on this create workflow option which is given on right corner let's do that and here a dialog box will appear in front of us it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so first of all let us provide a name over here generate answers using open ai automatically now after giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow so from the drop down i'm going to select this test integrations folder and we'll click on create as we do that we can find that two windows are open in front of us trigger and action what are trigger and actions trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the automation runs here the trigger says when this happened and the action says do this that means the action is the response towards our trigger so whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have multiple actions as we want now let's suppose we are going to take google sheets in our trigger and open AI in our action and we want that as soon as we are going to add a new question in our spreadsheet automatically for that question an answer should be generated by using open AI here we can find that our action is the response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens that means whenever automatically then the content is generated with the help of open AI otherwise not okay now after understanding this concept let's start creating this workflow step by step first of all we will select our trigger application and that is Google Sheets so let's select it the next is trigger event now what is trigger event trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start so our trigger event here will be new or updated spreadsheet row as we want that whenever a new row will be added in our google sheets automatically the response of that row should be captured here in public connect and with that response automatically the workflow should get triggered okay now the webhook url which is provided to us is going to act as a bridge for sending the data from google sheets towards Pabli connect okay so we will first of all copy the webhook url and then i'm going to take you towards the spreadsheet okay so let me prepare a new spreadsheet for this purpose okay and here i'm going to name the spreadsheet as let's say new answer sheet 
I will use two columns in the spreadsheet. First will be for the question and the second will be for the answers. Okay. Okay, so this is a spreadsheet. Column A contains question and column B contains answers. Okay, now as soon as I'm going to add a question in this particular spreadsheet, I want that answer should be generated with the help of OpenAI for that question. And then the same answer should be added in this particular column B in front of that question. So let me add a question over here. Let's say, what is respiration? Okay, this is the question. Now let's connect the spreadsheet with Pabli Connect. For doing that, we have to go towards extensions. Then we have to click on add-ons. When you will click on get add-ons, it is going to take us towards Google Workspace Marketplace. Now here we need to search for Pabli Connect Webbooks. So basically Pabli Connect Webbook is the add-on which we need to install in our Google Sheets. As you can find, I've already installed it. So I'm just going to cross this. And once you will install the add-on, you also have to refresh the spreadsheet so that you can find the option of Pabli Connect Webbooks under extensions. As we can find the option over here, let's go towards initial setup. And basically in order to connect our spreadsheet with Pabli Connect, we have to do an initial setup in which we need to provide two details, webbook URL as well as the triggered column. So let us paste the webbook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So we have entered the webbook URL. Now I'm going to enter the trigger column. Now the concept of trigger column says that whenever the data will be entered up till this particular column, the response will be automatically captured in Pabli Connect. Okay, as you can find in the background, I have two columns, column A and column B. So I want to keep column A as my trigger column as I want that as soon as I'm going to add a question in this particular spreadsheet, automatically the response should be captured in Pabli Connect. So here my trigger column will be column A. I have entered in and now we are going to click on send test to send the test data towards Pabli Connect. And the test data is sent successfully. So let's click on submit and we will move forward towards Pabli Connect. And here we can find that the response is automatically captured. So as soon as we have submitted the initial setup, here is the response. Here we have received all the details, trigger column, spreadsheet name, spreadsheet ID, sheet name, sheet ID, row index, as well as the question, what is respiration? This means that our connection between Google Sheet and Pabli Connect is successful. So let's move forward. And our next objective is to generate the content. That means to generate the answer for the question which we have received from Google Sheets. And for that, we are going to use OpenAI so let's connect OpenAI in our action step. So in my action application here, I'm going to connect OpenAI and in the action event, we will select chat GPT. So basically here, I'm going to use chat GPT for generating the content. Let's click on connect. And because I've already built the connection with my OpenAI account, I'm going to select my existing connection only. For building a new connection, you need to click on this add new connection button and then you have to provide the token. From where you're going to find this token for that, first of all, you need to log into your OpenAI application and then you have to click on this hyperlink. Once you will do that, it is going to take you towards the API key page of OpenAI account and from there you can generate your token and paste it over here. So as I have already built the connection, I'm going to select existing connection and now we are going to click on save. After doing this, we can find that our OpenAI account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So we will move further. The next thing which it is asking us is to select the AI model. By using what AI model you want to generate the content. So here I'm going to select GPT 3.5 Turbo model and we will move further. The next and the very important step is the prompt. Prompt is the command which we need to provide to chat GPT that what we want it to do for us. Here the example is given. Enter prompt example draft an email for taking a leave tomorrow. So because I want to generate answer for the question which we have received from Google Sheets, my prompt will be we have already received the question from our earlier response that is from Google Sheets response. We will simply map that question over here. What is mapping? Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given and here are all the details. We want to map the question which is given over here. Let's select it and it will be mapped automatically. What is respiration? Now when we have mapped this question, it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every response. That means now whenever we are going to add a new question in a new row in this particular spreadsheet, automatically here the question will get replaced with with that new question but whatever data we have entered manually is become static and now it is not going to change with each and every response so the prompt is going to be same each time generate an answer for the question but the question will replace automatically each time okay now after entering all the details let's click on save and send test request button and we can find that here the response is received. In the response, we have received the answer of the question. Respiration refers to the biological process that enables living organism to breathe and convert oxygen into energy. This is the full and correct answer. Okay, now after generating the content, after generating the answer, my next objective is to add the same answer automatically in my Google Sheets in front of the question. For that, once again, I'm going to connect Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. Let's click on this Add Action Step button. And here in the Action application, we are going to select Google Sheets. 
and after selecting the application the next thing which we have to select is the action event which will be update cell value so as i want to update the value which is recently generated with the help of open ai in google sheets our action event will be update cell value let's click on connect and now because we have already built the connection with google sheets i'm going to select my existing connection and we will click on save as we have done that, we can find that Google Sheets is once again connected with Paply Connect successfully. Now we have to enter the details in these fields in order to update the cell value. First of all, we need to select the spreadsheet name. The name of my spreadsheet is new answer sheet. So I'm going to select new answer sheet over here from the drop down. And because I've only created sheet one over here in the spreadsheet, the sheet is already selected as sheet one here in Paply Connect. Let's move further. The next is the range. Okay, so here we need to enter the range that in what range we want to update the value. So the example of the range is given over here, example C5, the column name plus row index. So I want to update the value in this particular column B. So the name of my column will be B. And it is going to be same each time as I want to add the answers in the column B only every time. Okay, in front of the questions. So here I have entered the name of the column manually to make it static. So now it is not going to change with each and every response. But as we know that we want to change the row index with each and every response. I'm going to add a new row every time. Let's say the next question I'm going to add in this particular row, row number three. So the answer should be added in front of a new question in row three. So every time the row is going to change with each and every response. Therefore, we have to make it dynamic. For that reason, what we are going to do, we will simply map the row index which we have received from Google Sheets. This is the row index. And when we have mapped this row index, it has become dynamic and now it is going to be changed with each and every response. So now whenever a new row will be added in our spreadsheet, automatically the row index will get changed. And with the help of that, we will be able to automatically add all the answers in front of the questions in different rows. Okay. Now the next is the value. What value you want to update in your spreadsheet? We want to update the content. That means the answer which we have generated by using chat GPT. And here's the content. Respiration refers to the biological process. Let's map it. And now once again, because we have mapped this data, it is going to change with each and every response. We will click on save and send test request button. And here we have received the response. So let's go and check on our spreadsheet. And here, yes, you can find that the answer is automatically added in front of the question in column B. So this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between Google Sheets and OpenAI. So now we have to do one more thing. We have to go towards extensions, Pabli Connect Webhooks. And this time we have to click on the send on event. As we have done that, we have made sure that now whenever we are going to add a new row, a new question in this particular spreadsheet, automatically an answer will be added in front of that question. So let's check this workflow once again. Here I'm going to add a new question in this particular spreadsheet. Let's say, what are assets and bases? And as soon as I have entered a question here in a new row in the spreadsheet, we will see that without any manual efforts within seconds, an answer will be added here in column B in front of that question. So let's wait for a few seconds. And yes, we can find that here is the answer in front of the question, what are assets and bases? Assets and bases are two types of substances that are commonly encountered in chemistry. So this is the full answer. This means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. So now whenever we are going to add a new row in this particular spreadsheet, whenever we are going to add a new question here, automatically an answer will be generated with the help of OpenAI for that question. And the same answer will then automatically be added in front of that question without any manual efforts within seconds. So in this way, very easily we can create a record of questions as well as answers in our Google Sheets. Okay, so I'm going to take you back towards Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So we have taken three simple steps, trigger and two actions. In trigger, we have taken Google Sheets and in action, we have taken OpenAI as well as Google Sheets once again. And we have connected all of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to add a new question in our Google Sheets, automatically an answer will be generated for that question by using OpenAI. And then the same answer will be automatically added in front of that question in our Google Sheets once again. This is very easy workflow we can very easily create this without any coding or programming skills within few minutes okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but you can integrate many other applications by using pabli connect now if you have any doubt you can directly reach out to us at support at the red if you want to ask any query you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you want to ask any pricing related issue then you can directly reach out to the website given over here now if you find this video helpful in any way do not forget it to share it with your friends and also please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations